you've been inspired by the gardens of Highgrove, whether you've got a windowsill, a balcony or a doorstep, go wild and plant some bulbs, scatter a few seeds, grow a bit of veg and enjoy your own glorious garden. Whatever you're up to on the Coronation Weekend, have a great time. I'm Zoe Ball. Thanks for listening. Garden was produced by Jody Keane. This is a BBC Audio production. This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Nikki Cardwell. The Royal College of Nursing says its members have worked tirelessly with NHS England to make sure their strike is safe for patients. They started a 28-hour walkout at 8 o'clock this evening. The RCN has rejected a pay increase of 5% and a one-off lump sum payment of at least £1,600. The Health Secretary, Steve Barclay, says the union is looking increasingly isolated. I welcome that exemptions have now been put in place for intensive care and also for the emergency department, Uh, but it's still the case there will be significant disruption to patients and I think that is disrespectful to the other trade unions who will be meeting on Tuesday in order to vote on the fair and reasonable settlement that we agreed with them some weeks ago. British nationals who want to escape the fighting in Sudan have until 11am UK time tomorrow to register for an evacuation flight from the city of Port Sudan. The country's rival military factions have announced a new three-day ceasefire but have shown no sign of ending their fight in the capital Khartoum. Marty Flax, who's worked with the US Special Envoy for Sudan, says a meaningful commitment is needed. What we've seen in the last week or so is a series of very short-term one- to three-day ceasefires that have been intermittently adhered to by the parties but have provided a little bit of breathing room for some people to leave Khartoum, for some people to get out and get supplies. But what we really need is a a longer term ceasefire that comes with an agreement by those warring parties to let aid come through and to let people who want to leave, leave. A five-month-old baby is in hospital after being attacked by a dog in care filly yesterday morning. The child's injuries are not thought to be life-threatening. Police have seized the dog. A pair of identical twin sisters are to take part in the coronation procession on Saturday. Jess and Amy McClenahan, who are both air engineer technicians, will be in the Royal Navy procession just one row apart. They joined thousands of troops in a full-scale rehearsal at REF Odium in Hampshire. They said they were elated when they found out they'd been chosen. Really happy because we both um, applied at the same time and there's like so many volunteers so mm-hmm. when we found out it was it was really good. Yeah, I think we were both so excited. We were both just like, check your emails quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got in? <laughs> yeah. So 